Hello and welcome to Vicki's Keto Way of Life. Today I'm going to be making my fudgy keto brownies. And in these brownies I use three-fourths of a cup of grass-fed butter. That's going to be Kerrygold for me. A half a cup of Truvia. Two-thirds cup of cacao powder. And also I put a little pink Himalayan salt on the top if you want a little salty. Two eggs at room temperature and two-thirds cup of almond flour. Now, I will tell you, I do use these packets of Truvia. Yes, it is a pain of opening all these packets to be able to get a half a cup. But you can buy the bags of the Truvia blend, the Baker's blend, but it's cane sugar and erythritol, and I'm not going to do that. And I do have erythritol that I could use but I really like the Truvia packets better. And so now I, my cacao powder, I usually use HealthWorks, ran out, and I bought this one at Walmart, and it's an organic, so this will be my first time using it, but it seems to be okay. And of course, I always use the Blue Diamond Almond Flour. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is go melt our butter. I do know that this is a lot of butter, but it's super delicious and totally worth it. So as the butter is melting, then I'm going to be able to preheat the oven to 350. And while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and measure out all the rest of my ingredients. Now one thing that I want to say that I do is I like to take my sugar and make it into powdered sugar. To me, it, make it makes it dissolve better. I don't know if you've ever noticed about erythritol, stevia. It leaves a weird taste sometimes in your mouth because it doesn't dissolve very well. At least that's my experience. And so I think it dissolves better if you make it into a powdered sugar. All right, so now that my butter is melted and really hot... Then I'm going to go ahead and stick the sugar in it. And then mix that up really well and get it dissolved. And what I like to do is just take me, have a tasting spoon and then put a spoon in it and be able to taste it to make sure it's nice and dissolved. One of the things that I said earlier about the reason I do the powdered sugar is because it does take longer also to dissolve if you don't make it into powdered sugar. And a lot of times you'll have that sand in your mouth taste. I mean, not the taste, but the feel, I should say. So this is why I like to do this. And so now that that's all together and it's all incorporated, now I go ahead and I add in my cacao powder. Now I did a test run on this the other day and they were pretty good. I didn't like them in my glass container. So today I'm going to be able to use my silicone container. And I did add extra butter. Uh, I felt like it needed a little bit more butter this time around. So you see how beautiful that is. And it's nice and chocolatey. That cacao powder is really good for you. It gives you antioxidants and it's just so super healthy. Now I've taken that off of the burner and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and break my eggs. So if you see my eggs here, I'm just going to go ahead and break the eggs. And I'll go ahead and just you know, re just use this, it doesn't matter, but I like to get my eggs nice and whisked up and then be able to get a wooden spoon and then start incorporating it into the chocolates and then I add in the almond flour. 
All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put in my chocolate into my eggs. And then I'm going to mix that up, and then I will add in the almond flour. Okay, so now I have my eggs mixed in with my chocolate and butter and Truvia. So now I'm going to do this. Also, just as a side note, I don't have salt in this recipe at all. If you want to put some on the top to have a little saltiness, that's awesome. But I did use salted butter, so that's why I'm not putting salt in this recipe. All right, so now I have it in the pan, 350 degrees in the oven, and I'm going to put it in there for 25 minutes. Now, I do like to check it after 15. Everyone's oven is different. So just keep an eye on it, and we'll stick it in the oven, and I'll be back. All right, the brownies are in the oven still. They're in there cooking, and I was about to wash this. Now this is butter, this is Truvia, and this is chocolate. So I was going to wash it, and I thought, hmm, no, I'm not going to do that. So I made me a cup of coffee. And what am I going to do? I'm gonna take my coffee and I'm going to pour it in there and I'm gonna mix it up. That way I add the flavor of all this goodness into my coffee. Yum! Yummy! And it passes the toothpick test. Awesome! Now I'm gonna put it on a cooling rack. All right, it's all cut and beautiful. Look at that. Delicious. Yum.